Hey everybody, this video will be covering all the updates coming in patch 12 to Fallout 76. Put your gear on display. Add even more personal touches to your camp and flaunt the gear you've collected during your travels in the wasteland with display cases. In patch 12, we're adding a number of different cases, stands, and racks that you can use to exhibit your items like your favorite guns, melee weapons, magazines, bobbleheads, junk, and more. Adding items to a display works much like assigning items to vending machines or a fermenter. Once you've built a display in your camp, you can assign items to it directly from your stash and they'll appear for all your visitors to admire. Items you place in your displays will remain in your stash, but a new trophy icon will appear next to their names so that it's easy to identify what you're showing off at a glance. To build a display case, Head to the Camp Build menu and find the new Displays tab we've added between the Stash Boxes and Floor Decor tabs. From there, you can choose which racks, stands, and cases you'd like to build. You can place up to 30 individual displays in your camp at any given time, and each type of display has a maximum number of items that you can assign to it. For example, you can place one weapon in a heavy weapon stand, up to 20 magazines in a magazine rack, or up to four junk items in a standard display case. In patch 12, we're revisiting the Charleston Capitol Courthouse to make significant updates to the building's interior. Primarily, we've reworked the courthouse's layout and design so that it better reflects the story you uncover as you play through the Key to the Past quest line. We've also added a few notes so you have a little more to learn about while you're there. Additionally, we've split the main capitol building and its courthouse wing into two different interior cells to better support the Key to the Pass questline. These locations were previously part of the same interior cell and this change allowed us to adjust the difficulty of enemy spawns in both locations. The courthouse level range now matches the top of the world and the capitol building matches the mirror region. While the Key to the Past objectives in the courthouse are the same, these improvements should help to offer a richer experience for players who are playing through the quest. Line your pockets with more caps. Prolific shopkeeps throughout Appalachia have let us know that the current maximum of 25,000 caps per character could use a bit of a boost. We're currently planning to deepen your pockets by increasing the cap limit to 30,000 per character so that you can hang on to more profits from your vending machine or save up for those pricey items you've had your eye on. Stay on your feet. There's a time and place for rest and relaxation in the wasteland and we've heard the community's feedback that it can be too easy to accidentally start using a chair or bed when you're busy trying to rebuild Appalachia. In patch 12, you will need to briefly hold down the activate button to enter furniture, play instruments, or drink from an open water source so that you're less likely to perform these actions when you don't mean to. Nuclear Winter Balance Tuning We're making a number of balance changes in Nuclear Winter to give a little more love to items and weapons that were underperforming and tone down a few weapons that felt a bit too strong. Full details will be available in the patch 12 notes on patch day, but as a preview, we're planning to increase Radaway's effectiveness, reduce the range of the Tesla rifle's area of effect, and buff up the lever action rifle's ammo capacity and reload speed, among others. New quick kits in Nuclear Winter. Sometimes all you need to get an edge over the competition is a new perspective. With patch 12, we're planning to add a staircase quick kit to the nuclear winter so that you have a new trick up your sleeve to outwit other candidates when the pressure's on. Throw down a staircase kit to more quickly make your way up steep terrain and gain the high ground on an opponent. And that wraps up the overview of items coming in patch 12 for Fallout 76. Thanks for watching. If you like what you see, please hit subscribe to see more in the future. See you next time and do what thou wilt.